Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at EstampAbove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Hump Day everybody. I hope your Wednesday is going good. I have had a good and productive Wednesday today. I'm going to wait for a few people to pop in. I'm going to get you loaded up here on my laptop so I can see your comments when I turn my camera around. Hi Haley. I almost forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so I had to jump off quick and do that. And then I had to text Haley because she said, text me when you're going live. So I did that quick, and that's why I'm about a minute late. Not too bad, though. And then my phone kept spinning. It wouldn't let me do a search. Sometimes, I'll tell you, technology's wonderful, but only when it works. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Okay, I've got you up on my screen there, so when I turn you around, I can see what's going on. Sharon says it's sunny in Urbana, Ohio. It's not sunny here. It's kind of overcast. It's a little nippy. Haley and I went for our walk today, so that was nice. I wore my coat and my gloves. <laughs> and I'm wrapped in my blanket. Remember my blanket? Yeah. And as soon as Haley left today, she was here all day, but as soon as she left, I turned on my space heater and my feet are still freezing. <laughs> I know, I'm so weird, right? Ugh. So, we, um, Haley got some scrapbook pages made today. I should, well, I'll grab them. Hang tight. I'm going to grab them quick. And once we get everybody on here, I will show them to you. I showed you one of them yesterday. Hang on while I wrap myself back up. <laughs> I know, it's so weird, right? I'm just so cold all the time until I have a hot flash, which usually happens when I'm live. I don't know. I don't know if like my internal thermometer senses when I get a little bit frazzled. I don't know because sometimes I get a hot flash when there's like no frazzling going on. So who the heck knows? I know that if I had control over it, it wouldn't be happening, right? Hi, Terry. Hi, Lori. It's raining there. It's not doing anything here. It's just crummy out. Um, we're supposed to get rain, though. So that'll probably happen a little later. Oh, I was going to grab... Eh, well... I need some white scraps for what we're going to do tonight. So last night, somebody had mentioned, I asked if you guys had any requests, and somebody had mentioned that they would like a 3D item. And I'm like, I love 3D items, so you're in luck. That's what I've got for you tonight. And I wanted to mention, Barb Kirk Pat Kilpatrick in Michigan, you won these yesterday, and I know that you messaged me someplace. I saw something come across on my phone or in the top corner of my screen because I get all these notifications. Pretty sure you messaged me, but I can't find that, so I don't know where you sent it to. But um, I ask that you private message me on Facebook or pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com so that I can find your address and get these in the mail for you. Yeah. So I see Nancy and Robin and Jackie coming in. Gorgeous night in Florida. I'm so jealous. Ruth is here. Thank you guys so much for popping in tonight. This is actually day 24 of Facebook Lives. Can you believe it's been 24 days? Crazy, right? Crazy. So I have some mail to share with you. I got a ton of mail, so I'm going to do half tonight and half tomorrow. So um, I just wanted to not take up a tremendous amount of time with that, and I love the mail. Don't get me wrong. It's so fun. Um, let's see. Who just asked that? Sharon is asking when the retirement list comes out. It should be coming out the beginning of May, I believe, and um, that's when demonstrators or Discount shoppers will get their new catalogs at the beginning of May, too. Stampin' Up! is shipping them out right away. Yeah, Marcia says, wow, 24 days. Yeah, 24 days. So, and then I had a couple people on YouTube. Um, I think they're my YouTube followers that um, messaged me, and it was so sweet. They were concerned because they didn't see my video last night. And... Um, I am excited to report to you, first of all, that last night when I got done with Facebook Live, 
I downloaded the Facebook Live, uploaded to YouTube, but I wasn't ready to post yet because there's a, like an, at least an hour to two hours of more work that has to go into linking up all my links and doing all my photos and my editing and all that good stuff. That as soon as I, like, I just walked away from my computer and I went in and I watched Gone Girl. Yeah. And it was just as weird as the book. <laughs> like, it was a good movie, but the ending is so, like, it just kind of leaves you hanging. It's disturbing. What that lady did to him is disturbing. So, I'm not going to say any more in case you haven't read it or seen it. But the book was weird, but the movie was just like the book. Like, just, I didn't notice any difference at all. And you know, I'm not, the, I don't analyze things very deep. That's just not who I am. I'm kind of a surface girl. <laughs> yeah, so hi Sharon from Wausau, Wisconsin. I know your city. We, um, we go through there once in a while. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing this video. You can click that share button right now and I always appreciate that. Barb, I see Barb coming in from Tucson. I have a very old friend, she's not old, but we were friends when we were kids that I've reconnected with recently that lives in Tucson. Through Facebook, I think Facebook is a wonderful thing and especially for my um, followers on YouTube that are really saying no to Facebook, I don't quite understand that whole thing. Because especially now when we're isolated, Facebook is a wonderful place to keep up with your family and friends. It's the easiest platform to do that on and you're going to find the majority of people on Facebook. So, I don't know. I don't know why people resist Facebook. Everybody has their own thing. I'm not judging you. I'm just telling you that I think you would find it to be a pretty neat place to be right now when you're isolated. And we talked a little bit yesterday about using instant or Facebook instant messenger. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Let me look. I'm not even sure what it's called. It's, um, yeah, it doesn't even say, but instant messenger or private messaging on Facebook, you can do video conferencing so you can actually talk to people and it doesn't cost you any money and it's pretty cool. Joe says her favorite color is purple. That's good. Hi, Kathy Miller. Hi, Sandy. My grandma loved purple. Like, she would almost always have purple in her clothing. It was one of her favorite colors. So that brings back some fond memories. Um, Gone Girl. Diana is asking, what is the name of this book or movie? It's Gone Girl. And it's weird. But it keeps you kind of pretty engaged. Like, I read it pretty quickly. And the only time I read is when I go to bed. And I used to be like a TV, I had to have the TV to go to sleep, but now I don't even look at the TV. It's usually still on when I go to bed because Steve leaves it on, but um, I read my Kindle. And so um, I might only read one page because I'll get to bed and I'll have my Kindle and I really like it because it lights up and I don't have to like have a light to be able to read. I like it for riding in the car at night when I'm not driving, let's make that perfectly clear. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's nice. Some professionals won't allow you to be on Facebook. I know firsthand that stockbrokers cannot. Well, you know, that's a little weird, Patricia, because I don't think I'm going to let my job kind of dictate whether I can belong to Facebook or not. But I mean, everybody has their things, right? Like, I don't know all the intricate details of that but you can create a fake persona and be on Facebook and have your dog's picture as your profile picture so like I know people that don't want a huge amount of friends on Facebook so instead of calling themselves Bill Smith which is their real name they might have it be Robert Smith yeah and I'm not saying that you should make fake profiles on Facebook. Don't get me in trouble here. But, I mean, it, there's always ways to get around that. So, hi, Sue. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Peggy. I heard that Virginia is going to be going home soon. I'm excited to hear that. I have been watching her progress. I see Carol's here and Kimberly. So, let me show you some of the cards that I got. I am going to start off with this cutie patootie. This came from Connie Piasecki. Piasecki. I know I'm probably saying your name wrong, but I'm pretty close. And um, look at, 
I'm going to show open it for you. That little part moves up. Isn't that cute? Yeah. This and she tells me in here that this is um, this is from one of my online classes. We did a card like this, and that's where she got the idea for it. But it says, "Welcome to the world, little one." And it was for Haley, and Haley was here today and opened it up. Congrats on your new baby that will be arriving soon. I hope you are doing well and look forward to hearing about your new addition to the family. Take care and be safe. Isn't that sweet? And what just happened? So it says that my internet does not appear to be connected to the internet, my phone, and that's so weird. So we're going to use cellular data. We'll see. I'm not pulling from that too. Yeah, it's probably the internet getting overloaded. But anyways, Connie sent a gift card for a children's place, I think. Yes, for Haley and Jared. And how very sweet of you. Thank you so much. And Haley was just thought that was the neatest thing ever. Haley, is everything still okay? Am I doing okay here? Oh, it says live video interrupted. Oh, this is not good, you guys. Okay. Not good at all. Am I back now? And I've got really, okay. Hang on just a second. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out on my phone and disconnect my internet and come back. And hopefully I can keep you guys. But if I freeze up, go out and come back in. Because we're not, I don't have good quality here at all as I'm looking at my screen. Yeah, I'm waiting for some messages and I'm not seeing anything here. We're going to have to shut down. I'm shutting down. I'll come back in a second. Hang on. Are we still live? Can somebody tell me since I came back if I'm still on here? I think I am. Since I came back, if I'm still on I think I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Whew. Yeah. So fun. Here goes that technology again, right? Yeah, lost me and had to rejoin. Okay, that's what I thought too. So it it told me that my phone was not hooking up to my home internet. So then it asked me if I wanted to use my cellular data and I said yes, because I have unlimited data, so who cares? But then it gave me a really crummy looking picture and I thought, oh, that's not good because we know what happens when the streaming is bad. It's like nobody can watch that nonsense. Okay, so we're back in business. Cheryl Rush, Springfield, Missouri, sent me this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? And it says, celebrate two many more blessed years with Stampin' Up. How sweet is that? Um, Cheryl sent me a little message. It says, congratulations on your anniversary with Stampin' Up. Thank you for the pretty card and the sand eraser you sent me. I had a little thing going um, a month ago or so that the first 15 orders would get a sand eraser. She said she was going to order one, but now there is no need. Thank you for the daily videos that you are posting. It sure brings joy into my days while being stuck at home. I love all your cards and hope I can be as good as you one day. Um, please accept this card that I made for you. I hope you it can bring joy to you as you have for me. Lots of love. And I have to show you guys her handwriting. Look at how like precisely perfect it is. I even showed it to Haley. I'm like, look at this handwriting. Beautiful, Cheryl. Thank you so much. And then I got a gorgeous card from Michelle Avance. I believe that's how you say your name. This uses that ornate garden suite. Very, very pretty. I love that paper. She says, Kelly, thank you. You're an inspiration to us all. I enjoy watching your videos and learn so much. You always have a great story to share and the biggest smile. Thank you for helping me to get out of my comfort zone and start doing Facebook Lives. Wishing you all the best as you prepare for baby Weedly. Stay safe and healthy. Never lose that smile. Sending you hugs. Michelle from Virginia, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So pretty, Michelle. Thank you so much. We have a card from Carolee Crab. 
a Happy Easter card. And look at that. So pretty. And she says, stay safe and thanks for all you do. Kara Lee is a one of my sister demonstrators. So Kara Lee and I have the same team leader. And I get to see her at Stampin' Up! events and it's always a pleasure. Then I've got another card here from my good friend Sue Molden. Sue sent me this card and isn't that cool? She says, nothing fancy here, Kelly, but proof that not getting rid of old stamp sets and dies can be very good and practical thing. And I agree with you. <laughs> the eighth design in my COVID series. Sue is a very funny lady. I just enjoy her so much. She says, fashion just for healthcare professionals and first responders. I'll mail to police, fire, hospitals, care facilities while I'm distancing. Take care, stay safe, be well. Smolden. Thank you, Sue. That is really sweet. And, you know, we need to remember the power of a card. They are so going to appreciate what you're doing. Then, my good friend Denise. Where did my muffins go? Haley, what happened to my muffins? They were right here. It just reminded me that Denise dropped off muffins today. And I don't know what I did with them. Maybe I took them in the kitchen, but I ate one right away. And I told Haley they have like bird seed in them. I don't see them. <laughs> I'm searching for my muffins. They don't have bird seed in them, but they have these little seed things in them that looks like bird seed. And when you, when you bite on them, they're crunchy. And then they have nuts in them and chocolate chips. And there was something in there. Haley said, I didn't touch those things. I know, because when I was telling her the things that were in them, she's like, grouse. <laughs> they were delightful, and I ate one as soon as I got them. Denise dropped those off on my porch earlier today, so that was really sweet. No, it wasn't poppy seeds. I don't know what kind of seeds they are. They're white seeds. Um, is that quinoa? Is that a seed? I don't know. I don't know what's in them, but they're good. I like them. And Denise makes them all the time. If you've been to one of Denise's home parties, I usually host a home party with her. You know exactly the muffins that I'm talking about. Yeah, Linda says, ask Steve where the muffins are. I might have to ask Steve. I don't think he knows about them, though, because I kind of kept them in here. I didn't even tell him that I got them. But maybe I took them in the kitchen. I don't know. Okay. Um... Let's see, somebody, Becky just said, I have a card for each of our team leaders that are responsible for our COVID response. And they loved it and really appreciated it. I know, I know, this is important right now to keep their spirits up. Haley, did you hear your, your mom throw you under the bus again last night? <laughs> I know, I'm always teasing with her. So back to Denise's card. Look at how pretty this is. And it has my favorite saying on it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I used to sing that to Haley all the time. And it says, thanks for all you do to make our lives more fun. Looking forward to lunch when this is all over. Me too, Denise, because we are going to lunch. All right, then I have Ruth Miller. Very pretty little Easter card here. I love this. And Ruth says, thanks for sharing your card making ideas with us. Looking forward when we can get together again. Isn't that cute? Love this. Then we have Michelle Martino. Check this out. This is a little matchbook card. And it says for a very special someone... And I have no fingernails left, so bear with me as I get this open. My goodness. Okay, so here's our front, and then here's the inside. And isn't that just cute? And it tucks right in here. And <clears throat> Michelle says, wow, what a surprise. I just opened my 6 by 6 foil B paper. You made my day. Sending a big virtual hug. You're very welcome, and thank you for the card. I have one more here to share with you, and this is from Vanessa... Ruber? I think I said that right. And Vanessa sent me a fun fold. Look at this. And this is the foil paper. Wow, how pretty. You are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. And that really touches my heart. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Your card is beautiful. All right, you guys. 
let's see. I can show you. I'm going to, oh, let me put these right back here so I don't lose them. I am going to show you Haley's scrapbook page. Uh, this is the one I showed you yesterday, if you recall. It says, and then there was you. And this is all about learning that they were going to have a baby. And then this is page number two. What do you guys think? Right? Holy cow. Yeah. So I'll bring this up here so you can see a little closer. Then I'll read it to you. So those are pictures of the baby from Ultrasounds. That's Weed Lee. Meet my granddaughter. Yep. And Haley and Jared. Is Jared in here? Oh, yeah. There's Jared. There's Jared in one of these pictures right here. But look at all the detail, you guys. So... We have nine weeks, 20 weeks, 32 weeks, 20 weeks. Oh, there's two of 20 weeks and 36 weeks. So I just love this little picture right here. Isn't that just weird how they can see that baby so clearly inside the belly? I just think that is bizarre. And at the top, it says cravings, slushies, apple juice, and meat. Yeah, we don't have any vegetarians in our family. <laughs> we are meat eaters. <laughs> First doctor's appointment was September 19th. Health only getting nauseous in the middle of the night. Due date April 20th. And the doctor said you were always moving a lot and in perfect health. So, wow. Isn't this neat? This baby is going to have the best album ever. Yeah. So, so cool. And um, Haley made this with the bead paper, you guys. That specialty bead paper we can't get anymore that we sold out of right away during celebration. So these are really fun and cool, and I love them. Love them. Yeah, this was her Halloween costume. She wore it to school, and I think that's how she announced she was pregnant to the kids on October 31st. They, like, some of the kids figured it out. It was pretty cool. <laughs> so there we go. All right, um, tonight I had a request, like I said, for, um, think Kelly, for a 3D item. And so that's what I decided to come up with today. And, and I was just clearing off some more space over by Haley because um, my room is pretty cramped and she's pretty cramped over there. So I took some things out and I took all my 3D items and put them in a box so I could take them out of my room. I'll put them downstairs. I don't get rid of them because I like to kind of pull back on them. And then as soon as I did that, as soon as I did that, I went, oh, there's a box in there that I would like to make for today that I received from my good friend and team member, Sarah Simon. So there I went to the box that I just removed all the things. <laughs> so funny. Um, before I go any further, we have to pick our winner from last night's Facebook Live, and I happen to have the Wild Rose dies to give away. This is a really good set of dies, and I chose, make sure you're leaving a comment if you're coming on. You wanna make sure you leave at least one comment so you get entered in the drawing to win fabulous prizes. And um, share, 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 share my video. I really appreciate that. And if you're watching later on YouTube, please share that video too. Leave a comment because I do enter you guys in drawings also. My winner is Chris Wood. And Chris, I do not have your address. So you're going to need to email me at kelly at a stamp above .com so I can get your address to mail these out to you. Yay, Chris, congratulations. It's always fun to be a winner of a prize drawing, right? I was going to say it's always fun to be a winner, but we're all winners. All of us are winners. You're a winner. I'm a winner. We're all winners. How's that for your, there's your pep talk for the day. <laughs> and speaking of pep talks, um, this wasn't really a pep talk, but it was kind of funny. So yesterday, my husband was talking about how he cleaned up the yard because he cut down one of our big pine trees. And um, he was talking about how he got everything raked up. It's such a mess under that tree because the pine cones and the pine needle things and all the stuff. And I said, yeah, it looks really nice. And he, we're in the kitchen doing stuff, you know, I'm doing stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it looks really nice. And he goes, yeah, you know, I have two. He goes, yeah, you know, I have two rakes. And I'm like, oh, that's really smart. Just in case one breaks, that's genius. And I just kept doing what I was doing. 
he was getting at the fact that I could help him rake. <laughs> I just totally didn't let on that I knew what he was saying. It's really smart to have two rakes in case one breaks. And he started laughing. And then today he got kind of crabby. He was really crabby puss this morning. After he went to the grocery store, he was fine before he left. But when he came back, he was just cranky. And I'm, I go, what's your deal? And he goes, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I said, you're sick of what? I'm, I'm mad that when I go to the grocery store, I have to wear this face mask and my glasses are fogging up and people are stupid. <laughs> it was just so crappy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just like went, oh, and I came in here and closed my door. <laughs> and then a little while later, he made lunch. And it was delicious. He fried up, um, well, fried in a Teflon pan. It wasn't really fried, but he um, pan seared some chicken and put some seasoning on it and balsamic vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. Then he put cheese on top of it. And he also sauteed mushrooms at the same time. And then we had it on sandwiches. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And then he took a nap. And then he got up from his nap and he was all good. <laughs> so... Yeah, who just said that? Tanya just said her husband has those crazy thoughts too. I know about the rake, like, whatever. <laughs> Tell Stevie has two hands, he needs two rakes. I know, it was so funny the way that I just, without a hitch, I didn't even have to think about it. I have two rakes, and I'm like, well, that's a good idea in case one breaks. And then I just kept talking, and he just kind of went, <laughs> like, yep, I know. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to stamp. Are we ready? Are we ready to stamp? Um, have Steve use shaving cream on his glasses and then dry. It's supposed to help keep the fogging down. Oh, that's good to know. Because, yeah, he was pretty, he's pretty uptight. And I just, I don't like that. Like, I lived with that for a long time and I won't anymore. Like, I call him out on that right now. And I know things... You know, like I'm waiting every day. I'm like, kind of like, is is today going to be the day where he just kind of goes over the edge and has really is fed up with all of this? Because I don't know, but I have the ability to handle all this weirdness a little better than him. So I've been rather impressed with the way he's been in a pretty good mood. But today, when he started doing that, I'm like, and here we go. <laughs> Like, here it is, folks. This is it. So anyways, yeah, it was. And it is. It's so weird. It's so weird to be out in public all like, like you're going in for surgery. It's insane. And you're the doctor. We're not doctors. We shouldn't have to do this. But you know what? We just have to get through it, right? We just have to get through it. So I think we should stamp now. Um, therapy session's over. <laughs> Stamping is the best therapy. So I'm going to flip you guys around and we're going to make a box. I think you're going to really like it. So hang tight. Hang on while I put my blanket down so I don't freeze to death. And get you flipped around. I'll tell you in just a second when you can open your eyes. Make sure I'm squared up here. I hate it when my screen is crooked. I like I like you guys to be straight on these lines so it doesn't look all weird, right? Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Let me wrap back up in my blanket until I have the hot flash, and then I'll do a little strip tease for you guys. Yeah. Somebody said something about those tassels from the Best Dressed um, suite the other day, and I totally, it totally went over my head. She emailed me later, but tassels, strip tees, you guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was really funny after I got it, but whoosh, right over my head. I totally was not in that place. <laughs> All right, so I decided to pull out this Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper again because it's pretty and I have a lot of it and you can get it in a bulk pack. So that's cool. You get these, this this page and this page, and I don't know what, you get 10 of each or something like that, but it's called Magnolia Lane Bulk Pack if you're looking for it. And I'm going to bring in the pieces that we're going to need. Now, I can tell you that I've already typed up the dimensions for this box, so I will be sharing them. Um, when we get done with our Facebook Live tonight, 
after once I once I'm done being live I will go into the description above this video and I will put all the dimensions in. I have them typed up. All I got to do is copy and paste them in there. So it shouldn't take any time at all, you guys. And I just want to let you know that so you're not like frantically trying to write everything down. I also have made templates. So I'll share those with you also. I'll share pictures of the templates on my blog. This box isn't hard to make by any means. But I see that I got, I have something on my paper right here. There, sandy racer. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, so I picked this particular design. This is going to be by Box Top. And oh, I'm like, where did my dimensions go? This is my cheat sheet. My box top measures, hang on, five inches and 15 sixteenths. Now that's just one tiny little notch away from six inches. So it's square, 5 and 15 sixteenths by 5 and 15 sixteenths. And then you're going to need two pieces for your bottom. And the two pieces measure 6 and, nope, six and a quarter by 7 and 3 eighths, two of them. So we're going to do some scoring first. I'm going to bring in my Simply Scored tool here. And we're going to do the box top first. Now, you want to score this at a half an inch and one and a half inches on all four sides. When I use designer series paper on my scoreboard, I use the bigger end of my stylus because I don't want to tear my paper. So, I'm going to do half an inch and one and a half inches on all, oops, <laughs> all four sides. I almost went loop-de-loop -loop too far there. And if I, if you guys ask a question and I miss it, I will um, give you time for questions at the end. Not that you can't ask them now, but um, it's hard for me to stamp and make boxes and concentrate on this and then keep track with all the comments, just so you know that. Okay, so we've got all of our scoring here, and I know this is probably hard for you to see, but once I start cutting and folding, you'll be able to see it. I like to pick these up and tip them in the light so I can see my score lines better. That's how it works for me. Leaving them down here, uh, it's really hard to see. Box top. And isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. Then, this is our box bottom. And again, there's two pieces the same size. So we're going to do the short side first. So with the short side being up here, we're going to score at 2 and 7 eighths. And I'm going to use the smaller end of my stylus now because we're on cardstock. And then five and three quarters. Okay. Then we're going to turn it to the long side and we're going to score at two and seven eighths and six and three eighths. And again, you're going to do this to two pieces. I've already got one piece done so that, you know, you don't have to watch me do the same thing over again. Okay, let me set this aside. I don't want it to fall in the garbage like it did one other time. Um, hang on, you guys, just a second. My screen is locked up on my laptop. I'm not quite sure why. Huh. And now it's just spinning, spinning, spinning. Okay, it looks good. All right, so with this piece right here, I'm going to bring in my template so you can see what I'm doing. This is my template. Now remember, this is square, so you're just going to pick a side to do this with. You need to cut off all these corners. And it's going to leave a little tab down here. Oh, I already see that I missed something. You're going to cut all the way up to that second score line. Okay, so we've got a tab here. And then we're going to cut up to that second score line here, over to the first score line, and cut this tab off. And again, pick your paper up and move it in the light so you can see better. Oops, that didn't cut all the way. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so we've got this and this, two tabs here. This is good. And now what I like to do is do just a little bit 
of mitering on the edges. This is just going to make your box come together better if you cut little slivers out of the tab edges. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing to the other end. Cut, cut. Oh, I should have done all the way here. Hang on. Sorry, I don't wanna con be confusing, but you'll see in just a second. Hang in there, go, oh my Lord, I don't know what she's doing. Just hang in there. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing in just a second. Doing the same thing here that I did to the other end, okay? Just like this. And then again, we're gonna cut up to that second line on this one, and then cut these outside scores off. And this, just like that. Okay, does that make sense now? And I will have a picture of this template for you guys on my blog so that you can see it. I'll probably post it on Facebook too. Okay, so what I did here is I even put where does the tear and tape need to go? Now I really recommend that you use tear and tape for this, this part of it, because the last thing you want is your boxes falling apart. And we're gonna put our tear and tape towards the outside edge of each tab on all four sides. I can't wait to show you what goes in this box because I, I have a definite gift that goes in this box. It's something that anybody can get their hands on. And it's just a really nice little way to package up this gift, okay? So we've got tear tape on the outside of all four edges. Now, we're gonna do our folding and our burnishing. And don't forget to do this little tab here. Now when I'm burnishing on designer series paper, I don't usually push as hard as I do on cardstock, just because designer series paper is a little more delicate. So just keep that in mind too. You don't need to like be on there. You like my sound effects? Yeah, you don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm always good for some sound effects. That one is kind of curling funny. And then last, and last, oops, make sure I get that folded right. Okay, so this box top is really easy to put together. We're gonna pull in all four of those tabs and we're gonna put glue. Now you don't want your glue gushing all over, so I'm actually, when I put glue on something, I'm touching the tip of my liquid glue bottle to my paper and scribbling with it. I'm not pushing very much either because less glue is better. Now you take this side and you put it right up against that side and I like the glue for this because it gives you that wiggle room so you can get everything squared up nicely. You just hold it for a little bit. Here comes the next one. Again, square it up nice. Make sure that your corners are meeting good. Here comes the next one. And the less glue you use, the less time you have to hold these because they dry faster. And one more. Okay, so this is what we have. Now we're going to, whoops, let me take the lid off. We're gonna pick off the tear and tape backing. And this is where I would fast forward my camera if this were a video, but instead I'm gonna like drone on about mindless things to take up time. <laughs> mindless things. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Did I just totally screw that up? Yep. Yep, I did. My tear and tape should have been on the other side, you guys. Okay, so I blew it. Um, tear and tape should be on the other side. It should be on the inside here, not the outside. So to combat that right now so we can get our box done, this is what I'm gonna do. Put your tear and tape on this side, not the other side. I told Haley today when I was making this box, I'm like, this could be a complete disaster. And you know what she said to me? She goes, just tell people that, Mom. Just tell people. <laughs> I'm like, okay, guys. 
this could be a complete disaster. And I actually made one of these, so I should have been paying better attention, and I wasn't. I'm just putting some glue in here so I can get this glued down right now so I can show you guys my finished box. And of course, that tear and tape is really sticking to me, but this is where your tear and tape should go. On the opposite side of the pattern that you want to use. And one more here. And instead I'm putting glue because it's faster. And then I think what we're going to do is we are going to take some pieces of cardstock and put them inside here so we can salvage this little box. So this is going to be a little less than three by about three quarters. Hang tight. I'm going to use black. Three by three quarters. This should work. Haley, where did my little cutter go? <clears throat> I have to tell you guys, Haley was using the little cutter today for her pictures and she really likes it. So she's keeping it over on her side. So what did I say here? Three, about two and three quarters. I'm going to go with that, yeah, maybe a little bit more than that. And then three quarters of an inch. So I'll cut that off so now I'll have three quarters of an inch. Here's one. And that was at two inches. So then we gotta go to one and a quarter. So this is how you fix your screw ups. <laughs> and if there's anything that you will learn from me, it is all about that, right? Because I'm really good at fixing the screw ups. And <clears throat> Oh, well, that one isn't big enough. People will say, oh, Kelly, don't get flustered. Don't worry, I'm fine. Like, I know, everybody makes a mistake. Yeah, I cut that one too small. There we go. And then I need to make this a little less than three inches. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these pieces of black, and I'm just going to press them over the tear and tape. Oh, do you guys see my nasty fingernail? I'm going to have fuzz stuck in it. <laughs> my fingernails are so bad. Like, I touch anything and they just break. Okay, last but not least, let's get that down. Here comes our last one. See how I fixed that? That was pretty good, right? Okay, so here's our box top. You guys will do better, I'm sure. Yeah, Lisa says, keeping it real and live. That's right. Hi, Kim from Northern Ireland. Okay, now let's move this out of the way. Now we're going to do the box bottom. Let's hope I can do a better job on that. Let's put my little cutter out of the way. So, um, let's see. This one goes this way. I want that little tab up here in the corner because according to my template, that's how I'm going to do the least amount of damage in doing this wrong. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to cut that out. And then on this score line, we're going to cut this side off. Okay. And then we're going to cut this out. And I'm going to just um, angle this right now. I could have snipped it straight and then angled it, but it needs to be angled. The other thing that needs to be cut is this line right here. And see, now I'm having a hot flash. Now I'm getting hot because I screwed up. I think that it really does trigger them. And I know you guys don't care. You're all nice and wonderful and sweet. And I know that it just doesn't really matter to you, but... I don't know, there's something in my system that goes, warning, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> I always think of that Lost in Space, danger, Will Robinson. Who watched Lost in Space? I know I'm dating myself now. Okay, so, um, hang on, let me take a look at this. I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right. Now, I've angled these two tabs, and this is cut down here. What we're going to do with this is we're going to bring in our paper cutter. Now you could use your scissors and you could just cut this panel halfway off. It, there's no big exact science to it. But I'm going to put it in my paper cutter and if I just push it all the way over here, it's about one and five, one and three eighths inches 
we're going to cut off one and three eighths inches. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> but you're only going to cut this one off, not that one. So watch while I do this. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that to Haley tonight. I said to her before she left, I said, I hope this isn't just a complete disaster. It's not that hard, you guys. I just wasn't paying attention. So just pretend like I didn't do this last cut right here, and we're going to make it work. Okay, on with the show. So now we have this piece here. We're going to use tear and tape, and I already have the other one made up, so you'd have thought I could have handled all of this, but apparently I can't. Oh my goodness. And I'll make a new box too. All right, here we go. We've got tear and tape there. Okay. And I need to, hang on, I need to cut this little piece of tape off right here. Remember, it's just like magic. We can't see that I cut that. Okay, so we've got tear and tape right here on the tab. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to put tear and tape up here at the top. Here we go. Ooh, nice recovery, right? <laughs> After I threw my head on my desk. <laughs> oh my gosh, Helen just said, that's funny. I know, right? I am here to make you laugh, and tonight is just exceptional. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Tear and tape right here, and then up here. And again, I have a whole template that I'm going to share with you guys. And what I recommend is that you actually make one of these yourself. That's what I did. It should have saved me, but unfortunately, I just wasn't quick enough. Okay, now we're going to fold on all of our score lines. Think about this a little bit. Um, and I've already done this one, so I've got this one done. And hang on. Here we go, you want them to look exactly the same and I'm gonna actually turn these around because this makes me happier. So we are going to put this, hang on a second, and this together. Yep, this is right, okay? So that, that tear and tape is gonna go on the inside of this tab and the inside of this tab. Yes, I'm doing it right. Okay, here we go. Now, leave this lay flat on your table, and you're just gonna bring this one over, and you're gonna line up all the score lines and make sure that it's even. Okay, we wanna make sure everything is gonna look nice here. Yep. Now, let's fold on this line right here, and we're gonna fold on this line, and we're gonna bring this one over to right here. See, I told you it wasn't that hard. I just made it look terrible. Just like that, okay? Now we have a box. Yep, and this is the bottom of our box. So we're going to put some glue on this one and, whoops, this one. And I just got a little bit of glue right there. And then we're gonna decide, this is gonna be the front of our box, so I'm gonna put that tab in last. Oh yeah, look at, oh my gosh, you guys, this is working out perfect because nobody's gonna see this screw up. I planned it that way. I wish I could say I did, but I didn't, but it's gonna work out. Genius! Okay, and now again, I like my liquid glue because I can kind of slide this around. <laughs> Save the day! Thanks, Connie! Connie says you are doing great. I just really just saved the whole box, right? Okay, I like to push my hand down in there, make sure it's all nice and secure. Now, weird little thing here is that all these tabs the tape is on the inside because we're gonna make these go down in here. And this box holds a heavy item, so you kinda of need some good reinforcement on it. If we didn't have these edges to fold over at the top, it wouldn't hold up as well. So now, we're just gonna do this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A lot easier than I made it look. Here comes our lid just like this. 
cute, right? We're not finished yet though, by a long shot, so hang with me. All right, now, since I decided to use the Magnolia bundle here, or designer series paper, I brought in the dies, and these dies are fantastic. This, this whole um, suite is found in the annual catalog. How many of you have this Magnolia suite? It is very, very popular. Look at all the gorgeousness. So the entire suite, you can get everything in the suite for $134.75, or you can order it individually. But yeah, this is really, really cool. This is the stamp set. There's two different cases for this. There's that designer series paper. And look, and here's some more beautiful projects. And does it go with that? No, this is different. That's a different thing. But yeah, look at this. How pretty are these? You can make home decor with it. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I wanted you to see that. And then, um, where did my, here's the stamp set. I'm going to bring this in. Here's the stamp set. We've got some beautiful fonts in here, some wonderful sentiments, the flowers that you can stamp and color or leave white. You don't have to color them, but this flourish thing, I love this thing. All right. So now I brought in the dies and all these dies come with this bundle. I used this one. And the leaves, you get two big leaves and two little leaves in these dies, which is great because you don't have to die cut them individually. Um, this is for a flower. Let's see. Um, there's another one here somewhere. So here it is. This is another flower. Here's the inside dealy whoppers. Looks like the coronavirus, right? Yeah, people have been making coronavirus cards with these elements. And um, if you have a really good sense of humor, you will find humor in that. And if you don't, you might think it's just completely tasteless. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever makes people happy. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody. Now, you're going to want white scraps. And I've already die cut two of each of these. So I've got two of those, two of this one, two of this one. I did a black of the bigger coronavirus. <laughs> so saffron of the smaller one. <laughs> Two large leaves and one small leaf. These are mossy meadow, black, so saffron, whisper white. And then I took my, I think this is the one and something punch. Hang on. Oh, this is my one and a quarter inch circle punch. And I punched a, just a circle of white. And now we're going to build a flower. And this is going to be for our box, and I think that it really makes the box. It's so pretty. So grab your phone folder, and you're going to curl these petals a little bit, just like this. Okay? That's what we have left. Left. That's what it does to the flower. Yeah, we're not taking anything away. We're adding to the charm. Okay? So there's two of those. This is the next biggest one. And you have to be careful because this is paper. Don't like yank on it too hard. You'll rip a petal off. That's next. Wait for it, folks. I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> Here comes the smallest one. This one's just a little bit thinner and smaller. Here we go. Terry says this paper is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Oh, and Trudy says she loves to use the blends on, yeah, the blends are perfect for this stamp set because you can just make the most gorgeous things, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Okay, so here's all of our pieces and parts. Let me get these dies out of here. I just wanted you to know what I had to die cut to build my flower. And now I'm going to bring in dimensionals. I've got regular dimensionals and baby dimensionals. And I've got mini glue dots. I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah, I remember why. I'm like, I'm not really sure why I have mini glue dots. But they're out here. Look at that, you guys. Brand new sheet of dimensionals. It's almost like opening up a brand new Versamark ink pad. You're just like, oh, so pretty. Now, I'm going to offset these petals, okay? So 
You want to make sure that you're building your flower and you're offsetting everything. I'm going to put dimensional on here. Now you could use dimensionals or not, but since this is a 3D item, I figured why wouldn't I want to use dimensionals to really make it like, woo. Oh, here's the, what did I just do? Where did my flowers go? Um, did anybody see that? For the love. I'm missing one of these. Oh, here it is. Whew. Yeah. Okay. What did I do on a YouTube video, Helen? That was hilarious. <laughs> I know I've done a lot of silly things. <laughs> Thank you guys. I, I was totally not finding this, but I found it. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of, they're not offset. Like, a hundred percent you know what I mean there you just want to make it look substantial now these smaller ones is where I brought in the mini dimensionals put one on here and put that right in the middle and one on here oops I almost put it in the wrong place now if you don't have many dimensionals just cut Cut your dimensionals to make them fit. Look at look at how cool that is, you guys. Now, if you wanted to, you could sponge the edge of these a color. That would be really pretty. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. And I am going to get my wink of Stella out. And we're going to do a little wink on our So Saffron Coronavirus. And... <laughs> Black one. I don't know what the centers of these flowers are called. They will forever be known as the Coronavirus Flower Center. Okay. <laughs> Where did my lid go? Here it is. I have not been drinking. I swear to you. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes dimensionals don't like. Hang on. They don't like Wink of Stella. Like, Glue dots don't like to stick to Wink of Stella, so I'm just going to bring in my little eraser and kind of erase a little bit off the middle of this and use a mini dimensional. Here we go. See, it doesn't like to stick to that. Maybe I'll have to do, I'll, I'll use this side instead and I'll put my dimensional on first. So dimensionals and glue dots do not like to stick to Wink of Stella. Whoops, I'm just gonna color the other side here so it's blingy. And now we're gonna stick this on. Just like that. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is! Right, and it's very blingy. Well, this isn't gonna work because I still have, get a dimensional on this side. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can make it happen. Oh yeah, it's sticking now. Okay, so do your dimensionals first. Here comes. What do you guys think of that, right? <laughs> Heather says not too many people can be this funny sober. <laughs> I have natural talent. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Heather. That just made my day. All right, I gotta get a drink. Like, it's just, it's the regular, you guys. Maybe when I'm done with this Facebook Live, I'll go out in the garage. There's a lot of alcohol out there. <laughs> okay, now here comes that little circle. And this is how I did it. You can do it however you want to do it. You can use mini glue dots. You could use tape. I'm just going to put some mini glue dots and put these leaves on here. And I'm going to do another one like right over here, and then this little baby one. It's kind of like right there, okay? Now we're gonna take our flower, and I'm gonna stick some glue dots to this layer or the back of your flower, or however you wanna do it, it doesn't really matter. You just make sure that you get enough on here. 
that your flower is not going to fall apart. You could use tear and tape again if you wanted to. That would probably be a good idea because you could do it quicker than this. And now I'm just going to take my flower and I'm going to set it down right here. Now nobody's going to see that part. So look at how pretty is that. Do you guys like? Now if you wanted to, you could spray it with some shimmer spray too. I just thought of that. So, uh, let's see, what is this? That's copper, this is champagne, here's the white. Here's some white shimmer paint. Oh, I can't use white. Oh yeah, I can, frost white. Frost white shimmer paint, and you fill up one of our spritzers. We sell these, you get two in a pack for like, I don't know, $4, they're really cheap, but they're really nice because the mist is fine. You fill it up about this far with rubbing alcohol, and then you just pour a glop of this in there. And that's what I have in here. And I am going to, whoops, try to hit my flower. Now my whole flower is kind of shimmery. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get some more light on it. Look at how pretty that is. And my finger. <laughs> Bonus. Okay. <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to do is take one of these gold faceted gems and add that to the center of my flower. Well, that's actually sticking quite well. I'm like, oh, cripes, that's not going to stick now. But it is sticking. Okay. Maybe you want to spray your flower before you put your leaves on. I don't know. But I think that's pretty cool. All right. Then... I've got, this is about a 14 inch piece of our flax ribbon and I'm going to take this and put this on my box like a belly band. Oh, first let me show you what goes in the box. Are you ready? These are uh, three inch candles from Bath and Body Works um, or any three inch candle will work. This one is White Barn. Okay. Fits right in there. Put the lid on, take the ribbon. This is gonna be like a belly band. So I'm taking this ribbon, I'm going to adhere it with some mini glue dots. Mini glue dots are pretty darn strong and this is just gonna hold this ribbon around the box. You can do this however you want, whatever works for you. If you'd rather like measure it and use a stapler, that would probably work. I'm just going to put one more mini glue dot on this end of this piece and then you don't want it too tight but you want it snug enough that it's not going to be sloppy just like this okay and then we're going to take and put some mini glue dots right on here Meh. hang on I'm just going to put about three of them on here and use your take your pick tool to kind of make them stay there because once we get our flower on here we can push it down good but until then there we go okay and now you can decide oh my goodness what do you think look at it's sticking down there good the belly band just comes off this is the other one that I made so I've got petal pink with the black top and white. And I used the petal pink sheer ribbon on this one. And again, this is a belly band. It comes right off and your candle goes inside. What do you guys think? Ah, let's see if I can get this back on here. This might be the only thing that goes right tonight. Nope, I think I pulled it apart. I did. Hang on. But I put this one on the same way. <laughs> there you go. But these are pretty sturdy little boxes. They're nice, and they hold that big candle. And that candle was actually a gift from Sarah. Sarah used the Gather. See, I put Sarah Simon. Sarah used the Gather Together paper to make this box to give me that candle and I just thought it was so nice and so pretty and when I can't remember who asked for it but whoever asked for a 3d I hope you enjoy this and I hope you do better with it than I did 
But if you follow this template, and I will post these right away, you're going to be fine because it really does show everything. And just remember that you want to cut diagonally on your tabs so that it will just fold together nicer. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Holy cow. It's like sometimes things just don't go the way you plan them, right? But super, super pretty little boxes. You could put so many things in here. Um, you could put a cupcake in here. I would probably put it inside of a plastic bag so that it doesn't, you know, get grease on the sides. But you could make a cupcake and give a cupcake to somebody. Candle is a beautiful gift. Very, very cute. And thank you, Sarah, for giving me this box so that I had a mock-up to make this one. I really appreciate it. Okay, so... If you don't have the Magnolia Suite, this is it. It's on page 36, 37, 38 in the annual catalog, and it is gorgeous. And then as I was digging for stuff, I also brought out the Memories and More cards. Magnolia Lane Memories and More card pack. And I was looking at these, and I'm like, ooh, Maybe I should make some cards with these. Look at all of these. <laughs> Look at all of these. They're so fun and pretty. These are um, intended for scrapbooking, but we make cards out of these all the time. We get all these um, vellum, printed vellum sheets in here. These are super, super pretty. Then you get these four by six cards. Everything, you get two of each. Everything is double-sided. And then you get these. These are die-cut adhesives. Sheets of them. And again, like I said, these are, these are meant for scrapbookers, but we like to make them for cards too. Days like these, this week, notes, to the happy couple, happy place, congratulations, happy birthday, sending love for you. Um... These are strips. These are strips that are die-cut adhesives and flowers and some labels. Very, very cool. Maybe I'll make some cards and share them with you tomorrow to show you what I come up with with the Magnolia Memories and More card packs. I think these are really, really fun, and it makes creating fun because it's like, oh, what am I going to do with this? Oh, what am I going to do with that? And then there's also... Let me find... We also have a pack of, these are envelope liners. You line these envelopes. You can also get some envelopes that go beautifully with this whole suite of products. This is an envelope liner. It's already cut for you. You just have to adhere it in. It goes in there just like this. Very classy, right? Yeah, and here's card bases. So this is scored for you. It's got silver foil on it. Very, very cool. It's a very different type of texture, too. And these are called Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So they're really cool. That This whole suite just has so much to it. I really do love it. I haven't used it in a while, so I was glad to be able to pull it out and use it a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, and Joni says card ideas with these would be great. I think I'll do that for tomorrow because I think that'll be really fun. Now, I have to tell you guys, I'm running a little bit behind. I have not answered my emails, and I must, must, must get my Technique Online Club cards made. So we'll see if I make these tomorrow or the next day. But my next thing that I really need to concentrate on is my Technique group. I can't neglect my Technique Club people who are placing orders to be in that club. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that tomorrow night maybe and let you know what that's all about. If anybody has any questions that I missed, I'm going to flip you around. If anybody has any questions that I missed, now is a good time. Look at the sun's out. It's looking better here in Menasha, Wisconsin. It's really bright too. Wow. Okay, there we go. Did I miss any questions? Right now is the time to ask. 
if I missed your question, maybe somebody else helped you. Um, cards with memories and more. Bonita would like to see that. Kelly, what is the yellow thing on your glue dots? Oh, good question. It's just a little piece of ribbon. And I do that to hold my paper in place and it just slides with me and then the glue dots are there. And actually, we kind of came up with this idea because when we do stamping events, people will tear all the paper off that doesn't have glue dots on it and then all the glue dots are exposed. When you put them in the box, they stick to the box and then you lose all these glue dots. So we did this so that people know don't tear that paper off. And it's kind of a reminder not to do that because here's the first glue dot and we definitely want that to be protected, right? It's a great question. Glad you asked. But this is this is from doing classes. We have those on there. Oh, Jenny wants me to send the sun. They're having a storm there. Oh my goodness. Well, we're probably going to get it. Yeah, Sherry loves the magnolias. Thank you, Sherry. Please make sure you're sharing this video if you haven't already. Share it right to your profile page. You never know who in your friends is looking for a new hobby or maybe they just want to watch how to make stuff because they don't have anything else to do right now or maybe they know somebody who's into card making or scrapbooking and they can send them my way. I always appreciate that. Melinda says, thank you for spending time with us. You are very welcome. Thank you, Melinda, for spending time with me. I really appreciate that. And we've got hello from Maine. Is it, I don't know how to say your name, Francius? Francius? Did I do okay? Yeah. Oh, it's going south. You're way south of me. Is that what, is that what Jenny just said? I'm way south of you. Okay. All right. Okay, good. We're not getting a storm. I thought we were supposed to get rain today though. Maybe that was, yeah, it's today. Yeah, so Sherry had rain, sleet, hail, and snow today. The sun is out right now. <laughs> Sounds like Wisconsin. That's what happens here, too. Prayers for the lady who has her family dealing with illness. Um, prayers, yes, to anybody dealing with illness right now. Hi, Janine Hyde. Um, prayers going out to you. Big hugs to everybody. Uh, you know, take care of yourselves. Make sure that you're a top priority. I did that last night when I just went, nope, I'm going to go watch my movie. So I'm doing a little bit more of that. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm getting just a tiny bit behind, so I need to catch up. But um, I'm not going to promise the memories and more cards for tomorrow. I'll try really hard. Someone wants to know how to order your classes from outside of the U.S. Okay, so that's a great question. If you go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, in the right-hand column is my online class button. When you click on that, you're going to see the online classes that are available globally. You can order the PDF for the class. I can't send you a cardstock packet or the product, but I can. You can order the PDF file for the online class, and it is at a reduced price. So that is available. Did I get my gummies for the popcorn? I did, Diana. Thank you. <laughs> you know I can't eat popcorn without gummies. <laughs> um, Jenny, yes, I did get to watch Gone Girl last night. It was weird. It has a weird ending. It was a weird book, but um, it kept me enthralled in what was going to happen next. So, And I even saved Haley a few <laughs> of, the of the sour patches. That's what they are. I love my sour patches with popcorn. And then Haley came over here today with popcorn. So, yeah. Um, thanks for... I preempted Trump. Yay! <laughs> I guarantee you I gave you a lot more fun than Trump did, right? Yeah. All right, you guys, I am going to get these dimensions posted for you. Thank you, Connie. Connie says, I love Kelly's classes. Thank you so much. I am going to get the dimensions posted for you, and um, I will get working on my Technique Club stuff, so then hopefully I can do something with the Memories and More card pack, because I love, I love working with these. They're really fun. Okay, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful hump day. If you did not check out my blog, I've got some hair dyeing tips in there for today. It's kind of amusing, but there's a joke on there, and it's pretty funny. So, 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Helen. Have a great hump day. Bye-bye.